Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah. Koholo Yimla Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rakhakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. Jachanan the Waf, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, just wanted to do something in case, you know, you get overwhelmed, you know, some days, you know, you just like, you just can't, I, me personally, you know, it, it's just, it's constant, I have, it's, it's constantly on my mind of just can't wait to get out of here, can't wait to get out of here, you know, we're praying to Yahweh about Shimei Wasai to um, hurry that day up, man, so to speak, you know, but in the meanwhile, it was a brother in New York, GMS, um, I think it's the Rochester, Rochester camp um, out in New York, and he said something interesting. I was watching a video of him the other day, and he was just like, you know, he, he was like, he said alarms, you know what I'm saying, on his phone, just alerts, notifications, so to speak, to let him know, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, look, man, this thing is about to be over with soon, so it depends on what you want to set the alarm for, and I was like, you know, I thought about it. And um, I've been doing it for the past week or so, I think it is, you know, and, and you know, as you can see, I have my my timer set 1044 a.m. And I have it set um, out of here chariots. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, every time it pops up, it's, you know, basically it says chariots. And I'm like, you know, you know, and just a quick prayer, you know, praying for more laborers for the harvest. Um, praying, you know, that, you know, um, the Lord would not remove his Holy Spirit from us, you know, uh, praying for more wisdom, knowledge and understanding, praying for, you know, the patience to just, you know, you know, whatever it is, you know, you, it, it's a, it's a, you know, a time of the day when you can throw up a prayer, man, to Yahweh Bashim Shai. beautiful, man. And so when he said that, I was like, you know what, I'm going to do that, too. You know, I'm not sure how many alarms he had set up, but I set them up on all the, you know, the 144, so to speak. I set one for 1044 a.m., 1144 a.m., 144 p.m., 1044 p.m. and 1144 p.m. Just before, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much taking it in for the night, you know, so that's five times a day. But, you know, in the meanwhile, I'm, I'm still praying throughout the day, you know, but these are reminders and, and they and they be popping in like. Basically, when, you know, I'm noticing like when I really need it, because I'd be forgetting about it, of course, until it goes off. And when it goes off, I'm like, oh, chariots, man. You know, praying for the hastening of the day of Yahweh, man, because when you come in, I mean, you can have it set for anything. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, set it around the scriptures, man. Set it around Yahweh, set it around some 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 prayer, man, or something like that, you know. Knowing that what we're going through is not going to be forever. What we're going through as a people, the Israelites, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, this thing is about to be shut down. There's a time to this man's um, um, uh, hookup, man. You know, he has um, boundaries that he can't pass. Let me see if I can find that. He can't he, he can't pass the boundaries that the Lord has set for him. Let me see here real quick. That's, this thing is about to come to an end, and, and though it may seem like it's, it's ongoing and that it's never going to stop, you know, because it's painful being here, really, in reality, because we're, we're in these prisons, man. I'm not sure how it's worded right off. I may have that spell. Do I have that spell right? If not, I'll just roughly paraphrase it. But I mean, overall, it's basically going off. I can't find it right off. So like you. But it's going off into, um, but let me get this other one. It's going off into Esau can't pass um, his boundary, man. He has a time set just like we have a time set. Everything has a time set. That's why when you go off into, um, I think that's Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there's a time for everything. I can't find that, though. Let me see. See, Esau has a time set. Just like this alarm, when it goes off, when it counts down, you know, there's nothing that can stop the alarm. It, when it goes off, it goes off because that time is set. You know? 
it's going to, you know, you're going to keep hearing the alarm until basically you push stop, of course. But that alarm is set, man. And Esau can't go past his, 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 um, his time, man. It is what it is. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And that comes down to this end of this rulership, the end of this world, the end of the, you know, the, um, you go into the Apocrypha, 2nd Ezra 6 and 9, let me start at verse 8, it says, And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. The end is a time. And and it's this time that's going on right now. The end of this world is about to happen. It says, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. So there's a time for this man's kingdom to stop. And there's a time for our kingdom to start. Can't get around it, man. It's really, you know. But I also, like I said, I had this one. I'm not going to keep this lesson long. I'm at the plantation right now. So I was just, um, you know, it just dawned on me. You know, when my alarm went off because it, it went off a little while ago and it's getting ready to go off again. It's 1128. You know, it'll be another one going off. And, you know, at 1144, because that's how I have it set. Quick prayer goes up. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is, man. I mean, you know, when the brother said it, I'm like, man, that's perfect. That's a perfect reminder to keep, you know, your, your mindset on your side too, to meditate on this word. You know? There's a time period where we're, we're about to go into the kingdom. And we're going to become who we originally were. Royalty, man. Kings and priests. There's a time where this man would no longer have his foot on our neck, man. There's a time where he would no longer be teaching our kids his curriculum in the schools. Us having to go to him for his medicines or, you know, having to go to him for one of all things. You know, according to um, Deuteronomy 28. I think in 48, you know, that's one of the curses that we got to go to this man for food, water, thirst. You know, we're completely under this man's control. And there's coming a point where that shit is about to stop. And this is Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. See, it says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. What's an appointed time? Just like how those alarms are set it up. Those alarms are appointed times of the day. That day I set them up and they go off. <laughs> and I, I pray to the Lord, you know, and it gives me peace. Praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Because a lot of the times, I mean, you know, being in this truth, man, and especially, you know, doing these lessons, you be scrolling, looking for the news. And not to mention just outside shit that's going on with your family you got to do this you got to go here you got to go there you got to hit the supermarket you got to cook some shit you got to you know clean something you got to rake the yard you got to <laughs> you know get break the leaves you got <laughs> you know what i'm saying you got to do laundry you got to all these things are going on while you got to get up and go and punch in for esau you know on his damn clock all that stuff is coming to an end there's an appointed time for that and though it seems like it's not going to happen, you know, like, when is it? Like, golly, man, it's like, damn, you're just tired, man. He is worn out the saints. But there's going to come a time where we're going to be rejuvenated, man. And we're going to wear his ass out. So I don't want to keep this lesson long. Like I said, it was something that hit me in the spirit. And I'm like, you know, well, let me let me just do that. Because that, to me, it was um, edifying when the brother said it. He wasn't doing a lesson on it. It was just something he mentioned. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of dope. I'm like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. that. That's that been helping me for the past, I think I've been doing it for about a week or so. When he done the lesson, I forgot what the lesson was about. But he actually just, you know, he kind of said it. It was towards the end of one of his lessons. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that in. I started, I went right on my phone immediately and started putting in, um, setting alarms, man. And I got them set for every day. Every single day, them the same alarms go off. So, I mean, it's something that you can do if you want to do it, you know, but if not, I mean, it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? You may have a, a set time of the day where you might pray, but I mean, hey, nothing wrong with being, it kind of rejuvenates me like, oh, yeah. Oh, man, the chariot's coming, man. Yeah, I was coming through to destroy this place and, and, and I'm praying that I'm a part of the hopefully let, you know, you know, throwing them prayers up to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Re-examining yourself, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me a shalom.